Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. Now time to talk Virginia Tech Hokey basketball. In many ways, you could call this the culmination of what Buzz Williams has built. That amazing freshman class he brought in in his first year in Blacksburg. They're now seniors. There are some really talented underclassmen in this squad. And Virginia Tech seems almost certain to break a school record and reach March Madness for a third consecutive season. So really, uh, the key here is managing high expectations that are unprecedented for this program because on paper, this is easily the best basketball team Virginia Tech has ever had. So it's really a matter of making sure the Hokies make it to the second week of the tournament this year. Athlon Sports has the Hokies ranked at 12th in the nation. I think that is a definite fair ranking. I mean, this team is virtually loaded at every single position. Let's start with the floor general, the glue of this team, the heart and soul of Hokie Hoops practically since he stepped on campus, Justin Robinson. You have to feel so confident and comfortable in this team when he has the ball in his hands. He averaged over 16 points a game in ACC play last year, over five assists, and he shot 40% from the three-point line. I don't even consider him to be an elite three-point shooter, but I consider him to be absolutely brilliant when it comes to his basketball IQ, particularly when it comes to shot selection. Now, Nikhil Alexander-Walker looks like a potential first-round pick for this upcoming NBA draft. A lot of people thought when he came to Blacksburg, he would be a one-and-done guy considering he was a five-star recruit. He needed more time to develop, never even considered testing the waters. Very smart move. You know, he averaged uh, a little over 10 points a game last season. He can certainly improve when it comes to attacking the basket. Has the foundation when it comes to that jump shot. You know, elite potential. Fantastic athlete. Love his game. I think he will be terrific, especially considering the way he ended the season with a great game against uh, Alabama in the NCAA tournament. So rounding out that half court, presumably uh, the third guard starting in that lineup will be uh, Ahmed Hill. Hill is probably the best three-point shooter on this team. I mean, he did hit 64 trays last season and averaged double figures, but you want to see him attack the basket more. Only got to the free throw line 42 times after uh, getting there over 80 times in each of his first two seasons uh, with the Hokies. So definitely want to see him add that, you know, dynamic attacking aspect to his game to make the Hokies all that more difficult to guard. Now, when you're talking about the front court, the one position that the Hokies are thin at is big man. Kerry Blackshear is back after averaging about uh, a dozen points and six rebounds a game uh, last year. Very, very talented player. Great nose for the ball. But I think Buzz Williams will probably have to tell him to spend a little bit less time standing on the three-point line. Solid three-point shooter. But he is the interior presence on that team. He's going to have to pull in a lot of rebounds. The Hokies were uh, towards the bottom in the ACC last year when it came to rebounding as a team. That'll probably be uh, another weakness this year. But Blackshear is going to be another crucial element to the team, especially when you consider that Kadeem C ended up uh, leaving Virginia Tech for the second time. So uh, down on the interior, it's going to be a challenge. You know, uh, P.J. Horn, a great opportunity for him to contribute off the bench this year. I think he will see uh, additional minutes And, you know, in terms of uh, the front court, that four spot, sure, he might be a little bit undersized going up against big men. But Chris Clark backs down to no one. I love his heart. I love his grit. He is an OKG, as Buzz Williams likes to say, our kind of guy. I mean, you know, probably a triple-double threat uh, waiting to happen on any given night with the way he can pass score and rebound he can do it all human pogo stick i just love everything uh, about chris clark and you know he has the potential to really make uh, the hokies contend for an acc crown guys coming off the bench who will make major impact uh wabi sabidi another guy that buzz williams loves you know he has uh, a great potential uh, in his own right and uh But, you know, the potential superstar that'll be coming off the bench is Landers Nolly. You know, a top 75 recruit coming out of Georgia, remarkably versatile, great athlete, six foot seven, almost 200 pounds. So maybe we'll be looking to bulk up a little bit. But Nolly is going to be a guy who will be really exciting to watch. Can't wait to see what he has 
uh, to offer. I think a lot of people will be pleasantly surprised with the way he will go about his business. Now, the Hokies, of course, they're going to get plenty of opportunities for resume-boosting wins, playing in the most competitive league in college basketball, the ACC. But I have to say, given the selection committee's unhealthy fixation with non-conference strength of schedule, that could really come back to bite the Hokies. Because, you know, we're talking about a team that scheduled likes of Gardner-Webb and VMI at home. It's just, it's a total cupcake schedule. They might play uh, Wichita State and South Carolina. They open that tournament against Ball State. The lack of top-tier competition in the non-conference schedule could really hurt the Hokies, especially if they drop a game. There's going to be a lot of pressure on Virginia Tech to have a perfect or very close to perfect run in non-conference play. I would like a little bit uh, more margin for error on that front, but in Buzz, we trust. Every day I have to pinch myself that Buzz Williams coaches Virginia Tech basketball because he has taken the program to heights that many Hokies would have never imagined, and now the Hokies are a serious threat to make the Final Four. It might sound ludicrous, but if you think about it, the depth, the talent, the experience, the Hokies have it all. They check all the boxes. Yes, rebounding is going to be an issue, but they are going to drain threes. I think they're going to lead the ACC in threes and lead the ACC potentially, got to account for Duke, of course, in fast break offense. There are going to be many buckets scored, many, many memorable moments this season, and I can't wait to see what the Hokies are capable of. I am predicting Virginia Tech to reach the Sweet 16, and don't be shocked if Virginia Tech makes its first trip to the Final Four. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel.